We take a young man on a crappie fishing field trip twice six years apart, and oh, how the sport has changed. The young man, too. We've also got archery tips, hiking tips, and a first fish you won't forget. It's on this episode of Arkansas's Great Outdoors. The world of professional crappie fishing has some big names, but no one has the resume of Ronnie Caps. He's won more world championships than anyone, and everyone has learned something from the very likable Mr. Caps. Several years ago, he told me he'd like to take a young man who had never been crappie fishing before out on the lake. We made a show out of that. Recently, we got them back together and made a show out of that too. Let's go back to 2015. Healthy, hardy, and safe, certified Arkansas bait fish. Six years ago, we featured Ronnie Caps, who took a 10-year-old boy on his first crappie fishing experience. Real fisherman, a crappie fisherman. Don't forget it. I love to make one out of you. Every time I get a kid in the boat, I'm, uh, I'm all smiles. <clears throat> I remember so many days when I got the advantage to <clears throat> over a lot of other kids to go fishing with my grandfather. And you know, um, that's a memory they'll never forget. I hadn't forgotten mine so I know it's the same with them. But anything I can teach a kid, you know, um, starting early, you know, who knows, he may be a professional crappie fisherman one day. Am I gonna catch my first crappie today? Clark, I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure that you catch your first big crappie today. Okay. How about that? What about the first crappie? Lead him right on in here, Clark. Come right on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, we got him anyway, huh? That's Clark's first one. It wasn't real, real beautiful, or he was not the biggest one, but he's a keeper, Clark. Grab it, jerk, jerk, jerk it straight up. Jerk hard, hard, hard. Come on up with it. There you go. That's a good one. Hold, hold him tight right there. Gosh, stop. Come on in with him a little bit. Come to me, come to me, Clark. Okay. <sighs> This experience originally aired on a program called Crappie Time. The young man fishing with Ronnie is Clark, who caught his first ever crappie, and then caught his personal best bass. How big was he? How big was the biggest bass you ever caught? Maybe a pound and a half. Pound and a half, that's a pretty good one. Tell you what, there's some monster bass that live in Real Foot Lake. Um, wouldn't be surprised if we couldn't top that. Thus begins one of the true highlights of the day for this 10-year-old boy. Watch Clark take in this full throttle ride in a ranger boat to the next fishing area. This is pure excitement. Six feet away on each side with trees over you and it felt like we were going 100 miles per hour. We were just zooming down. It was awesome. That wasn't too bad. That was awesome. Oh my God. Hold on, don't pull him too hard. That's a big old bass. Let me get the net. Hold on. Hold on. Oh gosh. Hold on. 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 Hold That's a young man's dream day out on the lake. Now, a little bit later on in the show, Clark and Caps reunite, and more than just Clark's height has changed. Arkansas has some amazing hiking trails which truly showcase our state's natural beauty. We've got a segment called Postcards where you can send in your photos and help us enjoy how you have seen the natural state. Just send them to us at photos at arkansasgreatoutdoors.com. Here's some for you to enjoy right now. Arkansas's Great Outdoors is brought to you by Bad Boy Mowers, mow with an attitude, by H2O Marine, and by Archer's Advantage. Where haven't we gone? 
what hasn't been done, what's still left to be discovered and possible beyond the horizon. How can we continue pushing limits, breaking boundaries, and leading the way? At Bad Boy, it's not just about finding the answers, it's about the pursuit. Bad Boy, Mo with an attitude. Our friends at Archer's Advantage are all about archery for sure, but they've got more. You may not know about the coolest bike in the woods with a very cool name. Hey, this is Jacob with H2O Sports Marine and Archer's Advantage, and today we're gonna to go over some tips on the e-bikes. We carry Rambo, but this will apply to any e-bike out there. You'll wanna check over your equipment, tires, batteries, make sure all the displays and stuff are secure and good to go. It's also a good idea to plan your trip ahead of time Check in with your local Game and Fish office or wildlife officer for all the regulations on the e-bikes. And you guys come into H2O Sports and Marine and Archer's Advantage and check us out. There's a lot to do and see and these electric bikes pack a punch quietly in the woods. Now let's get back to the action on the water and see how this young boy's transformation matched the sport of crappie fishing. I can't believe it, today I caught a crappie, a bass, a drum and a dogfish. I think he had a great trip and um, gosh, I bet he comes back. Clark did come back. This is the 10 year old boy who enjoyed the day of a lifetime in 2015. And this is the young man. Back for more and ready to join Ronnie in a whole new quest for monster crappie. My little buddy's done grown up, man. <laughs> A lot changed in the last six years. Some of it is obvious in the difference between 10-year-old Clark and 16-year-old Clark. But take a look at the front of Ronnie's boat. Fishing had a growth spurt too. Crappie fishing now has multiple screens on the front of the boat in a style that more resembles a video game than traditional casting or the eight-rod spider rig of old. Fish is sitting right, right by, this little, by this little stump right here. Here's his bait. so. What we're gonna do, we gotta get over. That's the fish we're after. <clears throat> and he's 12 foot away, 14 foot away actually. So what I'm gonna do, you stay on my arrow, okay, Clark? Right. Work on my arrow and forget your machine, okay? Watch my arrow and my machine if you can, and I'll kinda tell you, here's your bait. I'm gonna come straight up. All right, keep, hold it above his head. What I want you to do is hold it above his head and let it down slow, and now let the minnow fall. Now hold, hold it real steady, real steady. You're close, you're close. Getting ready, What? Up, 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 up higher, up higher, jerk, jerk, jerk. You got him. Oh, I saw him. You got it? Just dropped it in by his head, right, up, right above him on his stump, and he chased. You forgot the important part. You smoked him. <laughs> Yeah, it's completely different from what I'm used to, which is you see some trees or a bush and you think there's a fish right there and you can just see it on the you can see it on the thing and like you can see it chase the minnow and everything and then you see it jump at it and just pull it up. So is the, is there any kind of a delay or is it like instantaneous you see set the hook and go? Basically yeah, you just you see the minnow and the fish and you see the fish jump at it and once you see that once you don't see the minnow anymore, then you pull it up. <laughs> Dead in front of my air to the left a little bit more. All right, drop her straight down right now. Okay, I see you. Come on down, come on down, come on down. Okay, hold it right there. Right up, 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 just a little bit. Right down, 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 down. All right, went past you. Pull it back to you just a little bit. Down, down. Fish is moving now. Where did the fish go? There he is, there he is. Down a little bit. Okay, hold it. All right. Down. Here he comes. He's on it. Jerk, jerk. <laughs> it's really precise on like what you have to do to to get it right on the fish for him to be able to see it. It's hard to catch because you can't you can't spook him, but you got to get it just right. So you're doing all these uncomfortable positions just to get to them. It's 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 it's, it's very uh, fulfilling for me to see somebody do it for the first time. Clark caught his first one on the live scope there a minute ago, and 
And uh, you know, the first one you can ever catch with this technology, you'll never forget it. I'll never forget the first one I caught uh, for certain. So it's a, it's a special deal now. I mean, but we definitely switching gears, you know, with the times and uh, if you don't keep up with technology, it'll run off and leave you these days. When Arkansas's Great Outdoors returns, I'll give the live scope a try. And we've also got a first fish that's very cute and complete with a kiss. Arkansas's Great Outdoors is brought to you by Bad Boy Mowers, mow with an attitude, by H2O Marine, and by Archer's Advantage. The best leaders don't just forge ahead, they adjust. Bad Boy Mowers has made adjustments at every turn, including our revolutionary three-link suspension. Built tough and designed for superior performance and speed. Adjust the seat, handles, and pedals however you want. And as for Bad Boy's rebellious spirit, well, that hasn't adjusted at all. Bad Boy, mow with an attitude. When exploring the great outdoors, safety is our number one priority. So having a trail buddy is ideal, but if you have to go solo, make sure you text a friend or a family member your location and how long you'll be outdoors. In addition to texting, it's always a good idea to put your itinerary in your glove compartment. That way, if any unfortunate events happen and you need a search and rescue team to come find you, they have a good starting point. In our first episode of the season, we had a good old fashioned kids fishing derby in Carlisle. Now there was a little girl who came and was supposed to watch the derby and then later on was going to catch her first ever fish but she just couldn't wait. And in the middle of the derby, she grabbed her little fishing pole and made a cast. I was able to get the attention of our cameraman and here is her first fish. There it goes, real little. All right. All right. You got one. I don't know how to work this thing. Oh, you got one. I said I don't know how to work this thing. She got one, she got one. All righty, looky here. All right, look at that fish. Wow. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I'm gonna show my dad. You want to show your dad? Yeah. Hey, dad, come over here. Look, I got fish! <laughs> I did it all by myself. <laughs> yeah. That was great. Can I touch it? Look here. That's a big fish. Yeah, do you want to name it? I'll name it Smokey. 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 That's a good name. Yeah. yeah. Looky there. All right, that's your first ever fish? Yeah. Is that pretty cool? I'm going to put it back in the water. You want to put it back in the water now? OK. All right, we'll get it right back going. Say bye, Smokey. Bye. -bye. Thank you, Smokey. Woo! All right, give me a high five. Can you give me a high five? Yeah, all right. Oh, oh, oh God, bless. <laughs> okay, okay, a little bit more safety. Cole and Nora, uh, we're here at Cedar Valley Ranch, and we're going to do some fishing. Now, Nora, was this your first day fishing? Did you catch a big fish today? How big was your fish? That big? That's a big fish. <laughs> did you have fun catching that fish? Yeah? What did, what, what did you catch that fish with, a minnow? No? What did you catch it with? Catch it with this. With the fishing pole? That's, that's <laughs> I should have known to ask that question. Yep. Nora, you're a very smart little girl. You got your minnow picked out? <laughs> Which one do you want to use? This one. You want to use the red one? Do you like the red one? Yeah. Is it pretty? This We're going to go right mouth. through the tail. Oh, come on, Mr. Moon. There we go. <laughs> and by hooking him through the tail, we get the natural swing movement of that fish on our line. Okay, good job, Cole. I don't see anything. You don't see anything? Oh, oh my gosh, reel it in. You good, Nora? You want some help? You good? I got it. You're pretty strong. Uh. You're doing real good, Nora. This is embarrassing. Yeah, but you got the way. Are you catching more fish than your brother? Yeah, I'm Stop catching it. one too. You got a big one. You got a big one. Oh my goodness. We're back in the water. Wow. Wow. Another giant speckle belly <laughs> brim. You want to hug it? Let me let me get this hook out of him here first. I said. Big 
smile. Look at the camera and smile. Say bye bye, fish. Bye bye. bye. Uh, Good yay! job. And just like that, Nora became an accomplished angler. In fact, she announced that she was friends with all of the fish and told us that she was going to kiss the next one that she caught. You can tell when you take a close look that little Nora was committed to that kiss. And I think she is equally committed to the sport of fishing. Welcome to the club, Nora. Earlier in the show, we showed you how young Clark had grown and also how the sport of crappie fishing had grown. Well, after sitting in the back of the boat all day, I decided to take my shot at the new video game style of crappie fishing. Pick it up. You got him. Oh! <laughs> what you got to do is stop it above their head okay. and make them come to it, and you'll catch them every time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Here's so that's stomp. about 15. There's, no, it'd be that way. Okay. See? Oh, okay. Follow your arrow. There's the stump. Oh, I got you. Okay. You got you? Yeah. So you see your hook yet? I don't see it. See. It's actually almost behind us. That's, it's much easier to drag things in front. So put your hook on that arrow. Okay. See if you see your sinker. Okay. That's where we're going to start. Okay. Now find your sinker on the screen. There we go. All right. Now, if you get out of adjustment, move your. You basically. You got to fish with one hand and adjust with the other. Okay. Okay. It's like driving a track hole. Oh, I see. Okay. okay. You gotta you gotta be focusing at the same time you're fishing. There you go. There there you go. got one on it. Jerk it. There we go. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Dang. A little bit. Okay. Okay. Down and go. straight away. Okay. Come on down. Right there. You got it. Come on down. A little bit more down. Down a little bit. Okay, hold, hold it steady here. You can hold, hold, pick it up just a little bit. Pick it up. Okay, down, 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 down. A little bit more down. Down. Okay, hold right there. I think. Pick it. He jerk it. There, there go. you go. That's a lot of effort to get fish in the that boat. That is. That it is. It's just like the video game. <laughs> At the risk of sounding old school, I do have to admit I missed a little bit of the cast and retrieve of traditional fishing, but seeing all of the action on screen can win over even the most hesitant of converts. And a little bit later, we got to enjoy dinner from our day on the water. Arkansas's Great Outdoors is brought to you by Bad Boy Mowers, mow with an attitude, by H2O Marine, and by Archer's Advantage. Where haven't we gone? What hasn't been done? What's still left to be discovered and possible beyond the horizon? How can we continue pushing limits, breaking boundaries, and leading the way? At Bad Boy, it's not just about finding the answers. It's about the pursuit. Bad Boy, Mo with an attitude. Technology is part of our everyday lives and it can even make enjoying the great outdoors even better. There are a few apps on your phone that are some of my favorites when it comes to enjoying the great outdoors. For instance, all trails, you can pick different types of trails around your local area and allows you to navigate even without GPS. There's also Merlin ID for the beginning birders. And one of my favorites is called Seeker. It's an identification app that allows you to take pictures and it tells you exactly what it is. Let's close out our day on the water learning about new technology and then going old school with a fillet knife. Oh, this, this is some amazing technology. I, I, I've had a fun time. We've only been out here for maybe an hour already and caught quite a few fish. But um, you can plainly see that it is something we've not ever been used to. I mean, it's, it's a completely different turnaround from our old ways of crappie fishing. And, and uh, to show somebody that's never done it, uh, I promise you, It'll be addicting for you, so you better save up your money. You know, you'll buy a unit and a boat to go to go chase fish around your location down there where you're where y'all living. Most of the time, this is not the best time to come crappie fishing. Matter of fact, it's probably the worst time to come crappie fishing. And uh, just because of the technology, people are going in August on the hottest day of the year. They're going crappie fishing, so you can tell it's pretty addicting for a lot of people. Uh -uh. Yeah, this is great. If I'm catching fish, I'm happy, and either way, it's fun to be out here. Okay, so today, 
We've chosen to fish with a tiny hook. It's a number four Gamagatsu drop shot hook is what it is. I got a split shot, uh, it's about as light as I can go. This hook is ultra sharp. When you do hang it, you're probably gonna lose it. We're fishing six pound line, but it is of utmost important to hook the minnow right. And I'm gonna hook one for you so you know. Um, sometimes I make a mistake. Simply if I get in a hurry, I'll make a mistake. But I like to hook the minnow as far out, I mean, hook it. It's, it's, it's very kind of, it's, it's, it's real tedious work to get him hooked just right. That, that, that seems very, very um, small, but I'm telling you, it's very, very huge when you're trying to catch a real smart fish. It's a little drop shot hook, and uh, it's, it's real stiff, so when you do get home, most time you get to break it off, but uh, a minute can actually move a little better with that light, lightweight hook, and when they're finicky, Sometimes I've, I've done better fishing a smaller hook, so tie this rascal on and see what we can do here. So I just basically do the same as I did with the hook. I um, catch him right in the end of the lip. And some of the tentacles on the on a hair jig or a rubber tube uh, will sometimes quieten the minute down a little bit and cause less action. You might want to pull a few of those out, you know, just to give him some good movement. movement. Uh, so it won't restrict him. But just lip, lip hook them just like I did on a live bait hook, you know, and that's that's kind of that's kind of my favorite right there. If he won't bite just a straight jig, then add a little natural scent and also action, and sometimes it makes a makes or breaks it. Now for the tasty reward at the end of the day, Ronnie Capps shows how to take the catch of the day and turn it into dinner on the plate. Got a small crappie here. I'm gonna use a manual knife. My reason being that I know I save a lot of meat by using a manual one. And that's the way I was taught. My grandfather taught me how to do that. But So uh, the initial cut, it's gonna be right behind the gill. And I'm gonna split the fish right down the dorsal fin, right down the back. And once I do, I'm going straight in to the spine and I'm gonna lift that up. My thumb, I'm gonna pick it up, make sure it's, make sure it's well cut all the way to the spine. I'm gonna get right it's midway down and I'm gonna stick straight through. And then I'm gonna cut all the way into the tail, but don't cut the meat off. I'm just gonna lift and roll the meat up over the, the rib bones. Like I said, a critical part right there. Roll it up over the edge of those ribs, then go straight in. Roll the meat right straight down the ribs off. Lay it down. Cut it straight off like that. And again, you save all the meat that would have covered the ribs right there, uh, which is a nice little fillet. Ronnie uses a 50-50 mix of Martha White cornmeal with Jiffy corn muffin mix, and then fries it up. Six years ago, this was the scene as young Clark got his first taste of crappie. Today, he's bigger and hungrier. So, you caught your food. Again. Heck yeah. yeah that's the thing about crappie. Heck yeah, y'all didn't catch right your here. own food. You want to... There's no catch and release. In the grease. You catch and release in the grease, that's right. We had a lot of fun today catching crappie on screen and of course eating the fish. We also enjoyed a first fish segment where little Nora both caught and kissed the fish. We hope you enjoyed today's episode and we'll see you next week on Arkansas's Great Outdoors.